Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, the 19th of January. We're kind of uh, in between systems today, but uh, we got a lot of active weather to deal with in uh, the next week or so and probably beyond that. So a lot to talk about. Let's get right to it. We'll start with the old Skycam Network. First off, coming from the Daniel Building on 20th Street downtown, looking south. It's uh, a morning with low clouds and fog over the city, a bit of drizzle in spots. Let's see, a Tuscaloosa sky cam looking back over toward the uh, football stadium. They were shooting a Super Bowl ad in uh, Bryant-Denny Stadium last night. And from Demopolis, look at the flags out in front of the Demopolis Civic Center down in Marengo County. Uh, there you go. Got a big trough uh, moving through the east. That's the one that brought the rain yesterday. That's passing on by. So we're thinking that the subsidence in the wake of that feature will mean a clearing sky today with the sky becoming partly sunny. Temperatures this morning, uh, colder up in the northwest where it looks like the sky has tried to clear up there. 36 in Haleyville, but Birmingham is 10 degrees warmer at 46. And Montgomery sitting at 51. But we think that the uh, cooler air will win the battle and high should be in the uh, upper 40s in most spots today. And yeah, we keep watching that really cold air north of us. You can see how the really core of that is shutted east. The uh, 37 below zero is uh, around James Bay and that's not really in a position to, to affect us. Uh, and, of course, we'll certainly be much colder on Friday, but not as cold as it could be. Uh, we're still talking mid-30s, but we might nudge it up to the upper 30s if we keep seeing that trend. Whatever, it's going to be a cold and windy day. And, of course, that cold air nosing in will also set the stage for some winter weather problems north of the state. Ooh, look at all the winter weather advisories lighting up. Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Memphis has winter weather advisories out for West Tennessee and the uh, first row of counties down into Mississippi, and that's for about an inch or so. The bigger snows will be up north. Uh, Cincinnati's got a winter storm uh, warning up in effect there where they could see three to five inches in that heavier snow band along and just north of the Ohio River. There's the overall QPF chart for the next five days, valid through the weekend, valid through Sunday evening at 7 suggesting uh, not that much. Uh, the QPF numbers have come down. The uh, amounts up this way about uh, a tenth to a quarter inch were the better numbers down there in the Gulf Coast, and really a lot of that was last night's MCS that came through there. And here's the day two snow outlook with this next uh, system. If you really want the good snow, that'll be it there from near uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas to New York City. And again, uh, the, the heavier totals probably, uh, again, in places like Cincinnati and uh, Pittsburgh, and there could be some snow south of that, no doubt about that, but that, that's where the better chance of getting the four inches or more will be. Well, let's take a look at all of this. This is the 06 GFS at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. Westerly flow aloft, and again, uh, we think that the sky will gradually clear. Uh, the NAM is showing a high of 44. I think that's dead wrong because it's 48. <laughs> it's already four degrees warmer than that here at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the NAM at 50 is much closer to being correct, more than likely. And again, we think the sky becomes partly sunny. All right, tomorrow, there's your trough to the west. Down below that at midday, uh, rain over Louisiana, south Arkansas. Good snow breaks out uh, through uh, east Oklahoma, north Arkansas, and points uh, to the northeast. We'll go to Thursday evening at 6 o'clock, tomorrow evening. The freeze line at 850 millibars is just north of Birmingham. Heavier precipitation up north. The GFS has not been bullish on anything really heavy with this thing for a while. Uh, there's midnight uh, Thursday night, and there's just not much there. And uh, this is suggesting some light rain and maybe a few snowflakes in there, but nothing especially heavy. And then Friday morning at 6 o'clock, it's all over, clearly. Now, the NAM is much more aggressive with moisture. This is uh, midnight tomorrow night coming off the NAM. And by golly, uh, you know, the freeze line is, is almost hugging Interstate 59 um, and this is suggesting maybe some good snow for parts of the Tennessee Valley and points north. Nashville, if this is right, would get a really good snow. And then at uh, 6 o'clock Friday morning, it's got flurries over the eastern part of uh, Alabama. And look at this. Uh, this is the NAM projected snowfall accumulation here. And by golly, it's got a dusting down to uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Gadsden with uh, one inch to the north over the Tennessee Valley and uh, 
even a spot of two inches north of Huntsville around Hazel Green. Now, uh, the, the NAM is an outlier here, but having said that, you know, it did pretty well with the, the system last week. So, And we're not going to change the forecast all that much. And by the way, let's look at the RPM accumulated snow graphic. And again, it did pretty well last week. And it's got all the accumulated snow north of here with nothing over the Tennessee Valley. So we're not going to change our forecast. Mention a chance of some rain late tomorrow, tomorrow night, possibly changing to light snow before ending late tomorrow night with no major accumulation at all down here. And uh, maybe enough to get a, a half inch up in the Tennessee Valley. And we'll just watch it unfold. Uh, midday Friday, everything's just cold and dry. And uh, again, uh, we'll have to watch maybe for some icy bridges in spots for any leftover moisture. But the, the rainfall looks so light with this thing now that that's less of a concern now than it was. And again, the numbers are not as cold as we've got in our forecast. And we might trend upward. Uh, we've got like 35. But with the core of the really cold air shunted north of us, uh, it might be closer to 40. Nobody's going to gripe about that if that's the case. Now, there's Saturday starting off the weekend. The uh, thickness values are coming down. Uh, that would suggest a high in the 40s, bright sunshine. Uh, we'll start the day uh, probably close to 20. And again, I think we'll nudge the numbers up a little bit. And again, hey, no problem here. And then Sunday uh, looks dry, mostly sunny and uh, uh, again, high in the 40s more than likely. Uh, Monday of next week, trough forming to the west, Old Vort Max near Memphis, and uh, the GFS continues to print out some pretty good rain Monday over Mississippi and Louisiana, and it tries to nose in here. Now look at 6 o'clock Monday evening. Now it's got the deeper moisture way down south in the Gulf Coast and the Gulf of Mexico, but look at the uh, critical thickness line. That's the uh, low-level thickness, uh, the 1320 line way down south. And there's Tuesday at noon. And we're not going to forecast any, you know, freezing rain or snow here. I'm just saying that's kind of a close call. Uh, there's the European on Monday, and it's just got rain. Uh, uh, but at least the models are coming into better agreement now that, that we will probably see rain for sure uh, Monday into Monday night and uh, possibly Tuesday. There's Wednesday. Looks dry. Thursday of next week, the next storm in the Gulf. And, again, that might be a close call. So you can see the. Uh, just potential for a lot of winter mischief here. Mm, 28th, it just turns cold. 29th, eastern trough. And again, that's cold. Check the end of the forecast on the 3rd of uh, February. It's out there around Groundhog's Day. Still, we got an eastern trough. And it's still cold. That's really cold if this is right. So I know a lot of people are pulling for uh, April to get here. This has been a pretty... Harsh winter down here across the deep south. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.